and we are back with chapter 2, sector 11 of the Turing test. We're going to keep playing this thing. I've got it's kind of got me a little bit hooked. What Make sure. What should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. Were you involved in the accident, Tom? Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and comment below telling us, hey, I figured this, I figured that, I figured this puzzle out one time. You took you 15 and I did it the first one. Good for you, you smarty pants. Mr. Smarty Pants. Mrs. Smarty Pants. Nobody ever accused me of being the smartest guy in the room. Except for that one time. But that would be inappropriate to talk about here. <laughs> ah, ha ha ha. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Do I need that to get over here? Nope. Could but we I'm... take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Similar to the Mars base? Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Well, Mr. Atari Living Sacrifice, what about... Oh, what about that time you were by yourself in a room? Were you the smartest guy in the room then? Well... That's a good question. One that shall never be answered. Oh, I let get it to let go. power thing power thing is gone they're changing the rules on me Happy to be here. It doesn't look happy. I feel like I'm being being mean to Wally. Ah! 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 Can we make the game glitch out? No, we can't. Hope we didn't get dizzy there. What the heck? <laughs> can't fool me, evil robots. Uh oh, they fooled me. <laughs> Come on now. Dun 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 dun. dun. So uh, I used to own a a land center, like a PC bong. Uh, a uh... They're gonna okay. tell me a story. I'll what tell you a second. chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. 
Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food stores, but the crew fixed that up. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable, small, artificial ecosystem a year ago. Growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. So I used to own this uh, PC bung, this uh, land center. had a big old room with a bunch of computers and Xboxes and Playstations all connected to each other, playing against, you know, people come in, play against each other, that sort of thing. And um, there was this young guy, young kid that would come in all the time. His name was Will, and he'd call people, DTD, shut up, you DTD. And I'm like, hey, that's that's better than cursing, I guess, because you know the kid's like eight years old, ten years, maybe, maybe nine. And uh, I found out later, my wife is Korean. Found out later, DTD is like calling someone an idiot in Korean. That was like an actual word in Korean. Shut up, DTD. Like he was, that kid was smart. Either he was smart or he just stumbled upon it, stumbled upon something. All right. All right. Watch too much anime or something. Oh, that did not do what I thought I was going to do. Okay, so we want to go over there. That's our final destination. Shut up, you D3. All right, I've placed it right where I. Oh, there's no power. Uh, where do I put it, though? Is the right one. Got to go this first. Dun, 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 dun. I am so smart. S M R T. I mean, S M A R T. My purpose as the overseer of this mission is to work for the ISA. I am the ISA's feet and hands. The distance between Jupiter and Earth make He's it inappropriate all hands. for the ISA to directly interface with the mission it. directives. He's all hands. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. I prefer all feet, but this boy's all hands. Oh! Did I make the room dark? Alright, so, obviously, obviously, I've got to do, get something heavy to push over there, or something of that nature. Why is it getting dark? When I get closer to the light, it's weird. Okay. All right. Oh, we need one more. Hmm, might have to 
passing through through that. What the hell? What the hell? thinking uh oh wrong one now pull that off what is with this maybe if I put that on there let's try that yep it's heavy enough but for the purpose of what? For what nefarious purpose? No! Alright, I think I got it. I think I have it. Look at that. Look at that. Don't kick it off. Don't knock it off. I almost kicked it off. Yay, I'm jumping for joy. Oh, I forgot. He's not jumping for joy yet. Dun, dun, dun. Why do I have the ISA know you're gonna make the right decision? Indiana here Jones in my head. When they can't communicate with us. Interestingly, I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. Tom and Michael. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware updates before they upload them to myself. There is a simulation of this mission on Earth, running at all times to check my expert systems. Naturally. As any modern artificial intelligence running on a quantum computer, I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Why is that? Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, <laughs> unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. All right, somehow we passed this through. We're just gonna, it's a game. It's a game. Don't be like that. Oh, there's circular ones now. Great. Great. Flip this switch. What did that do? Okay. Ah, okay. No. That did not help. anything else in this room you know what you know what I done done it I done messed up let's 
this, which does nothing. I guess. Let's do this one first. Let's see what's in here. What's in here? How you get up. Okay, so that's the second to the last puzzle. trying to go though okay so I can get up there I don't know why that that was just a silly puzzle. Just a silly puzzle. No one will ever be in that room again. Or my name isn't Samuel L. Jackson. missing one. What am I missing? Did the ISA build you, Tom? As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA and the Ashiyama Corporation, designed in California, assembled in China. But here on Europa, I constructed myself.
Oh, this looks dangerous. Do I get zapped or do I just fall through the ground? I just fall through the ground. Okay, can I get out here still? No! Son of a biscuit. Is there a pattern? Uh, oh, white, white means is not working. Is it a motion sensor? It is a motion sensor. All right, let's go back over here. See what we can do over here. Doors open. All right, we don't even have to go over there. What do, am I missing? Have you heard of the Turing test, Ava? It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate a human. In the original Turing test, a human judge has two conversations, one with a machine and one with another human. They then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine and which is with a human. Do you think you'd pass the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation. Wouldn't you say? You better say it! You better! So, the room with the, the disappearing bridge and all that, I wonder if, if... Is there secrets that I'm missing? Like, what? Am I gonna have to go? Oh, I'm probably gonna come from that direction. I miss you, little baby. You little bundle of box. Come back to me. Just take that one. Huh. Is that what I want to do? That's what I'm doing. The Turing test has been criticized. Researchers claim it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather, its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? Uh, no. Oh, it's gonna get twisted Imagine now. you are in a room. In this room, you are passed Chinese sentences through a slot in the wall. Why has it gotta be Chinese? Inside the room is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. 
Okay. I guess you're not gonna tell me the rest until I... Ah! <laughs> it's a time delay. They're not gonna tell me the rest until I make it to the next room. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're wrong. Perhaps they are not wrong. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation, while the computer has no idea that a conversation has taken place. What if both of the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? Oh, yeah, Tom. Yeah, Tom. What you got to say about that? What is this arrow? What's it? I don't push arrows. I don't Tab? I don't get it. What's it trying to tell me? What are you trying to say to me, Tom? I don't get it. What does it mean? Controls. Left control. Left shift. Backspace. WASD. Get it. There's nothing. Oh, wait. Wasn't there a door up there? Did I was I just crazy? Did I just go crazy? Is it just a reflection? Oh. Ah, ah. Run! Woo! Made it just in time. That was more confusing. My spatial awareness was not very spatially aware. Oh. I may be a machine, but I personally takes do away not my believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right, you would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. Ooh. Ooh. Does this kill me? Oh, he was next. So those little, those two, three, one, two, three scanning things, they take away all my balls that I kept from the last mission. It's got my blowing balls. Hmm. This room did not not make it well through the divorce did not go well for this one Gotta hit that, obviously. But I don't see any other. Are there mirrors? I don't see anything else to even interact with in the room. Oh, maybe it's through this door. Yep. There we go. There we are.
interesting. I placed them in that particular order. This is the crew's quarters. It looks abandoned. I do not see the need for so many cameras. Tom's presence everywhere is slightly oppressive. I understand the need for transparency, but why is he in the toilets? Ah, boop. Don't touch. This is the fifth time. Don't touch what? The captain's room. water closet. He's got the bathroom. He's closest to the bathroom. That's that's why it's his room. Always go to the left. Ooh, I thought I was going to find a dead body. Ooh. Am I as good with a pencil as John Wick? Urgh! on things you would think he'd bring a happy picture somewhere somebody's smiling maybe because we care we care we care Alright, nothing to see here, nothing to see. Hmm. What kind of torture device is this? I keep thinking there's going to be a clue. But there's not. Science! And religion. Marry the two. And what do you get? Cyrigen! That's what you get. Cyrigen! I believe I follow the one true path. Cyrigen. 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 Puppy. Boy, this guy kept a clean room. Ooh, he had a little morphine problem. See, morphine. Ah, I can't stab myself with morphine. He painted with morphine. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. So what is it you found in Soichi? We found an ext extremophile. An organism that can live in extreme conditions. It survives massive doses of radiation. Radiation damages DNA. The extremophile has a virus living inside it. The extremophile scavenges DNA from other organisms, which the virus uses to repair the extremophile's damaged DNA. Essentially, they work to survive, work together to survive in what's called a symbiotic relationship. So what's the implication? What does it do? In some ways, it is an immortal relationship. It doesn't seem to age biologically. Aging and death are ultimately caused by DNA damage. We have the ability to fix our DNA, but that ability is limited. This organism can repair damage caused by massive doses of radiation. If we can harness this power, we can potentially eliminate biological aging, what is known as senescence. So you found something that could make humans immortal. Not exactly. There are many causes of death other than DNA damage. It would not save you from trauma, from brain damage, from cardiac arrest, etc., but it could potentially cure cancers and many genetic diseases and massively increase life expectancy. Um, 
right. I knew if I searched long enough, I'd find something. Why did they gotta make the Asian guy play the violin? That's just racist. My wife is Asian, and she... Everybody thinks she plays the violin. We told everybody she plays the violin. So every time she, we go somewhere, they're like, Could you play the violin for us? We'd love to hear it. She's like, I don't play the violin. And that's not what she sounds like if she ever hears this. That, that's not what she sounds like. Love you, honey. Hi, Matthew. We've been studying Organism 119. Please find attached scanning electron microscope image, which appears to show pilus formation. We hypothesize that this is a stress response due to high levels of radiation. We plan to infect the human cell line with Organism 119 and perform a radiation experiment with flow symmetry. Would this be appropriate? It would be great if you could get the department to look at the SEM image. Hmm. It's great to see this image. Wow, yet more complex life on Europa. This might be worth looking at as it survives very high levels of radiation here on Earth. Similarly, you should consider looking at... Produces pill pili in response to radiation and uses them to transfer DNA. Perhaps your organism uses a similar mechanism. Have you considered that Organism 119 is transferring or scavenging DNA as a method of surviving radiation? As you well know, in terms of radiation, Europa receives 5.4 SV, is it SY? SV per day, over 300,000 times the level on Earth. The organism must have evolved such a high resistance to radiation as a necessity of survival. That said, the radiation beneath Theramecular is much lower due to the thick ice crust. Radiation experiments with flow cytometry sound like an appropriate course of action. Matthew Layton. It has nothing to do with Layton. The, uh, the lawyer. Hi, Matthew. We have attached an image confirming that Organism 119 attaches to human cells. We will proceed with radiation experiments on these cell lines we propose naming organism 119 Europa radiophilus what do you think well Bob I'll tell you what I think I think if this works out we're gonna be rich Hi, Matthew. We have now run the irradiation experiments and confirm that E radiophilus does indeed seem to confer resistance to radiation. See attached. We assume survival is due to DNA damage repair. We tagged various DNA repair enzymes with GFP. What's GFP stand for? Do we know what that means? Anyway. And I found that DNA double strand break repair is occurring. See attached GFP images. Something's amiss. We don't know what's performing the repair. The lab doesn't know how E. radiophilus, good name, could repair DNA. Have you considered that another organism may be in a symbiotic relationship with E. radiophilus, perhaps a virus? We ran a PCR on the human cells exposed to E. radiophilus to see if there was a virus present. We have discovered an unknown virus which we have named Unknown Europa Virus. Huh. Gel electrophoresis image attached. And you can tell by the, um, in the purple screen there, you can tell um, the electrophilus, uh, uh, electrophoresis image. See on uh, number five, how it's bigger than on number, on number nine, it's blank. And I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, so I don't know why you're listening to me about this. And this is a phenomenal, you need to sequence this. Yeah, that was DNA. You didn't know that was like a DNA sequence? Come on now. We finished sequencing it, data attached. It is a virus unlike any we have ever seen. Maybe we have found a cure for senescence, a form of biological immortality. We are running some long-term tests on plants and mice to see the effects. Oh my goodness. 
the plants are clearly exhibiting longer lifespans when exposed to the organism. Sorry, I had to sneeze, didn't want to sneeze in your ear. We don't have the facilities here to continue testing. We are going to we are going on to human testing. We are going to use ourselves as subjects. It's the only way to accelerate progress. Have they not seen any movies? Any movies? This is how alien happens. I'm sure like this not smart. Not smart Orichi. Or no, what's his name? Suichi? Suichi? I don't remember, but not smart. Come on. Oh, look, Star Trek. Soichi, we are depending on the Asian race. You level headed sons of sons of sons. Ah! Uh, to keep our planet together. All right, we're moving right along. It's still got my interest. We're gonna keep playing it. Give it a big thumbs up, spam that like button, comment below, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Peace.